The jacket has been in the state crime lab for a few days. One of the investigators told me the serology department, the department which examines biological fluids like semen and blood, will not get a look at the jacket until tomorrow. In the meantime, crime lab technicians are checking for grease or oil or hair or fibers, which might help investigators link the jacket to some other place. The super dogs were given the afternoon off to rest their sore feet. Special boots to protect their feet will arrive tomorrow. Handler Don Lakin still expects results. I know that I can do what I came down to do. It, the period of time may be longer than I thought, maybe shorter than I thought. I don't know. I haven't completed all the things that I want to do, so I can't give you a conclusion. But I never lose faith. If I lose faith in my dogs, I might as well give up the business. Lakin discussed his search strategy with his contacts in Atlanta this afternoon while the dogs rested. But they were the only ones that rested. The five so-called super cops have been kept from public view during their week in Atlanta, true to the promise of Public Safety Commissioner Lee Brown. But we got lucky today and ran into them in a downtown hotel. The five super cops had just emerged from a meeting in the hotel. All but two of them scattered at the sight of the camera. But Detroit investigator Gil Hill and New York detective Charlie Nanton stopped. They are headquartered at the hotel at the request of Commissioner Brown. And they remain faithful to their pledge of silence while in public. Do you feel in general terms you're making any progress? Is it, is it more than just lending moral support to, to the task force? I don't feel that it's futile. You feel like maybe you're making some headway? I don't feel that our visit is futile. That's, that's all I can say. I spoke on the phone with two other super cops. One hung up on me, and the other said that he felt good generally about his work here. The investigation into the murdered and missing children plods on with the hope that one of the groups involved, the FBI or the super cops or the special task force or the tracking dogs, will come up with whatever it takes to break this case. Both dog handler Don Lakin and Detroit super cop Gil Hill say that their efforts have not been and will not be in vain. But all anyone is saying still is please be patient. From the special task force headquarters, Mark Picard, Action News.